to Terrence kind of thing. Doesn't matter what you bring. Come and watch him do his thing. Cause it's a Terrence kind of thing. Hey, hey, how y'all guys? How y'all guys doing? How y'all guys doing? <laughs> it's a Terrence kind of thing, baby. I'm coming back at you with another video. As you can see, I'm at the hotel and I'm in the um the laundry. Uh the laundry room, let me. The expensive laundry room. I mean, come on now. Like two fifty, three dollars to wash this basic stuff, two, three dollars to dry basic stuff. Come on now. Come on. Anyway, we're gonna shut up. Um I I got a message to share with you guys. And it's a it's a good one. It's a good one. Listen to your heart. Listen to that. Listen to your heart. <laughs> I just had to try out the acoustics. Listen to your heart. All jokes aside, listen to your heart. That gut feeling, you guys, listen to it. Listen to it. Let me say that again. Listen to it. I have, um, you know, since hopping on YouTube, but even before then, you know, you, you deal with certain situations and circumstances and, and you just have to... Um, you have to push through them, you know, so I thank God for um, for allowing me to get on here and to come across some amazing, amazing talents, amazing people and um, has been picked up. Oh, OK, <laughs> my DoorDash has been picked up. So uh, God allowed for me to come in co contact with amazing people and to um, to just reassure and to let me know, OK, yes, Terrence. Go with your first mind. Go with your first thoughts. Listen to your heart. That is the message. I know sometimes, you know, in family and friendships and certain situations, relationships, um, you you second guess yourself and you say, oh, you know, I'm just going to like let that go or or I'm not going to bother with that or, you know what, it, things are going to get better or, or, you know, this time, this time I'll let that just slide. No. Go with your first mind. Go with your first, your first thoughts. Listen to your heart. Okay, guys, that's the that's that big, big thing. I mean, I'm trying to think of the other lyrics. Listen to your heart when you <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get it. But that's the message, guys. Seriously. I mean, it it just happened to me. It happened, you know. Um, you know, you I, I've been going through things and stuff. Um, I mean, not even necessarily on YouTube, but just in life in general. And um, I haven't been listening to my heart. And, and I'm going to go deeper because I know some people probably don't believe. But Lord knows I do. OK, um, it's, it's called listening to listening to God. God gives us that. Um, uh, what, what should I say that those light bulb moments, those red flag moments. Y'all better grab them up. You better listen, 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 because I'm telling you guys, it's very, very important to know that if we keep disobeying or not paying attention to the signs, we're gonna we're gonna find ourselves in in deep doo doo. What they say when I was smaller, deep doo doo. Some of my family members would say we're gonna find ourselves in deep doo doo. Okay, we're gonna be in more trouble than we can probably imagine. So you guys, I want because I'm doing it for myself. Okay, I'm doing it for myself, and I wanted to share this message. And yes, like I literally, I'm like I'm I'm coming into the you know the laundry mat, you know, at the hotel and I'm washing some clothes and stuff for today and, you know, um, trying to figure things out, you know, mentally. And I'm like, I just got this message. I mean, and I, I don't know if you guys need to hear it or, um, or I just need to be able to, I don't know, talk to the, talk to the, talk to the camera, you know, but really listen to your heart. Listen to those first thoughts. Don't second guess yourself. Don't sort of change yourself. No, it's not, um, you're not the crazy one. You're not, um, you're not overreacting, um, or underthinking. <laughs> Listen to your heart. Listen to God. I'm going to start obeying more and more and more and more because guys, I'm telling you right now, it's important. It's important. It, it, I think that if you, if you don't do this, you know, okay, uh, life goes on, right? If you don't do it, life goes on. But I, I don't want to struggle through life, okay? 
and we got enough struggles as it is. Okay, can we get an amen? Can I get an amen in the comments? Okay, um, isn't life a struggle? You know, a struggle within itself. Isn't it enough? So why do we want when God gives us the opportunity and shows us and reveals to us certain things? Why don't we want to listen? Why why didn't I listen? Why don't I listen? You know, it's okay to make mistakes, but guys, you know what? We should be paying attention. We should be paying attention, and we should be grateful. We should be grateful that God allows us to, um, he allows for us to make these decisions and to realize the those red flags and those light bulb moments. I don't know. I don't want to be talking in circles, but I'm just saying if somebody's out there and stuff, maybe you can agree that probably recently you haven't been listening to yourself. You haven't been listening to your heart. You haven't been listening to God. I'm telling you, maybe that's probably why, okay, I'm just a little bit bothered by this or I can't just get right mentally. And, you know, so so things around me are uh, are just crumbling. Maybe that is the reason I got to start obeying God more. I got to start. I got to start obeying God more. He wants me to listen. He wants me to listen. And I'm like, God. You know, I know you. You know you're, you're probably letting, you know telling me to do this, but I'm gonna do this, and I'm not gonna go with my first mind. I'm not gonna listen to my heart, the heart that you created. I'm not gonna listen to that. So, I mean, maybe people can agree, maybe they can, maybe they can disagree, but that's disobeying God, the heart that He created my heart. He created my heart, so I gotta sit up here. I gotta make sure that I protect it. Okay, now when I'm playing tennis. And running and moving. Okay, okay, okay. I'm protecting it in a physical, in a physical form. But we're talking about spiritually, okay? I gotta protect my heart spiritually. So that means I have to pay attention. I have to pay attention to everything. When God, when God puts that out, when I say put it out, when he gives you, he throws you that ball. Okay. The, the the flags and the and opens up the 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 blinds and um uh, turns on the light for you and you have that aha but you don't listen and you don't pay attention and then you find yourself in that deep doo-doo okay that's what we want to avoid that's what I want to avoid you know guys you know I find myself um, in situations and I'm like God you know and I start to pray I really do I start to pray but we got to make sure that we're praying and that we're respecting and obeying God even before things get a little bit difficult before they get a little bit hard you know, it's just that should be the norm. Make it make it normalize it. OK, we want to normalize all this and and, you know, in schools and, you know, in you know, businesses and stuff. Normalize Jesus. OK, normalize Jesus. All right. I'm going to normalize Jesus in, within myself. So from here on out, what I want, what I want. If, can you hit me in the back? Can you hit me in the back from here on out? I want to make sure. OK. I, I'm speaking about Terrence, okay? From Mr. Terrence kind of thing. Okay, that Terrence, okay? I want to make sure Terrence is obeying, is listening to his heart, to God, to the to the message, to the word, you know? Not just sometimes or, you know, maybe I'll listen, I'll listen a little bit if it gets a little bit crazier. Listen right now. Be obedient. Be obedient. I think, you know, I say I think, but I know for a fact my mom told me a long time ago uh, when my mom was alive and well, and she would say, you know, it's important to get those checkups. She was telling me about, I mean, for myself and also my sisters, it's important, you know, health wise. And so that's why I say, oh my gosh, my mom, let me tell you, you know, she was, she, my mom would go to a doctor, okay? She would go to a doctor. And uh, so that's why I'm in my mind, like, you know, I, as I share with you guys that she passed away of ovarian cancer and, um, you know, this this female cancer, you know, it's just so it's wild because my mom would get so many checkups. She would she would um, she listened to her body. She listened to her heart. And she even knew then before even the diagnosis that something wasn't wrong. And so now I get these wild moments because I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Honest to God, I know for a fact, y'all, I'm telling you, I'm not just saying it. She listened. She listened and she just prepared herself. And then she prepared. She then she proceeded to prepare all of us. And so now that, you know, I've go through things even to this day, because that was back in 2016 when my mom passed. 
But my mom, you know, has been through so much. She w- went through so much of her life. And so now that, you know, we're fast forward, we're into 2022 and, and, you know, I'm on YouTube, I'm doing this, I'm doing this and things are happening and, you know, um, some good and bad things just in life. And but I'm not I'm not. I'm not taking the time to listen. I'm not taking the time to pay attention. And then that's going to be, that's why things are, you know, upside down, you know, because I'm not paying attention. I'm not listening. And that's um, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not checking up. Okay. I'm not getting those checkups in life. You know, I'm just like, okay, whatever happens is going to happen. Well, you know what? God also says that, Hey, I'll send you those signs. But I need for you to open your eyes. I need for you to pay attention. So that's what we're doing. And that's something my mom, my mom taught me so, so, so very well. And that's why also what I want to say, you know, I thank God for even just being on YouTube and um, coming across such amazing, genuine people and to also uh, preach that, put that, put that, that reassurance back into my heart, back into my life, back into my mind. You know, just go with your heart, go with your first mind, go with your first thought, listen to your heart, um, understand God, obey God, respect God. With with doing all of that, I can't go wrong. So I, like I said, I just had I had to share this with y'all. I did. I know it's weird because, like I said, I'm washing and it's raining. Y'all see that? It's raining outside. It's raining outside. Y'all see that? But I had to share it. I had to share. It. I'm probably gonna get out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and probably get wet. But it's okay because you know what? <laughs> I, I have turned on those. I've turned on those notifications. Okay, that's gonna be good. I may title this title this um video that I've turned on those notifications from God. What you say? Okay. Anyway, I better go. I better let you go because I'll talk all day. I'll talk all day. Y'all, if you haven't already, please like, comment, share me out, subscribe, okay? I really appreciate it. I am so, I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. Thank y'all so much, my beautiful butterflies. And remember, y'all, listen to your heart. Listen to this. Um, bum, 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 Listen to it, okay? I love y'all so much. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. Stay amazing, okay? And, and, and most of all, stay positive. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>